To hunt down a wild boar that size? Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Sherry, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Hi, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Want that horse, don't you? Had one just like it. Kick it. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. 
rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being... Villain. I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else every which way they turn. So long. Hmm, so the question now is... <laughs> okay, um, do we find the Baron's... Oh. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A ragdoll. Uh -huh. Um, are we going for the witch? Are we still doing this quest line? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, first, there's so much to do here. You know what I would like? Jenny of the Woods, yes. Um, we're going to do all these points of interest. So we're going for Hangman's Alley. And after we've done these points of interests, we're going uh, to find Jenny of the Woods. is with God, you know, he's right. Water damaged letter. Morke, I know you don't smuggle no more, that you've set aside plenty of coin and ain't interested in the risk. Just want to enjoy time with your wife and kiddies. 
but I gotta ask you for a favor. We gotta move one more load, and it's the last, I promise. It's a simple job, couple of chests, risks minimal, and the reward substantial. Please do it, if not for the gold, at least for old times sake, but... Okay... Quite good of sort. What? That's it? Serious? That was one useless sword. Wait, is that a is that, is that a joke? That can't be right. One sword? Uh, guild of maybe we needed to forge a good weapon? All this was just a useless endeavor. I don't know. It's just odd. Wine stone. I wonder if that's important. Letter. A baby brother. I got your letter. The children are healthy. Thank you. Little Reckley, it's not so little anymore. He's almost tall as my shoulder. Kids sweet as ever. But enough small talk. I'm so glad you were able to return to your own home. I'm worried though. Are you sure these pirates have gone away for good? Oh dear. A best of eyes in the back of your head and don't burn any lights at night so that no one cruising the coast can spy you. Yeah, that one did not work out so well. What? Got anything in? Smuggler's notes. Those were the days you'd smuggle a few bottles of hooch into Oxenford, then loiter about the dormitory selling it to students. Sometimes Dennis catches you and um, takes your fingertips, but that's life. Right, David? Uh, 
not David, Davos. <laughs> you could come away with a hefty sack of coin and they fed their spirits fortified for study. Then along came Radovich, who shut down the university, chased the students away and positioned Ballista on the riverbank to sink everything floating up or down the ponta, swans included. What? But there's not been a dark cloud yet. I didn't have a silver lining. Yesterday I saw our brave soldiers sink a merchant vessel. Went straight to the bottom, I did. It did, along with its whole crew and its cargo. A shame about the man, really, but it would just as big a shame to let all those goods go to waste. So me and Martin will fish them out, dry them off and sell them. And maybe at least I'll have something to put in my pot. Okay... Why is that quest marked with a deadly skull? Does that mean there's a monster down there that's going to eat us? I hope not. That would be awkward. I see, so there are a lot of monsters down here. Okay, uh, let's get back the surface and to the shore and then we'll see what we just found okay Harvard. now it's plus 25 interesting or is it another harvard I mean, the durability is bad, but... No, Malgrim, Silver Sword, plus five. So our Silver Sword has... But a bonus experience for monsters. Plus two, and that one has plus 20. Yeah, we're going to stay with the one that has plus 20. That bit of damage is not worth 20% um, bonus experience. Well, 18 to be more precise, since that had plus 2. But I'm not going to give plus 18% XP from monsters away, just for a tiny bit of more damage. Wait, is that green sign? Yes, it's correct, okay. I mean, there had to be a giant battle here, so many ships stranded. It's a bit unfair that they are able to hit me whilst I have this killing animation going.
bandits, no, Nilf's bastards must have coin coming out of their asses as they buy every peasant I capture, no matter if he's lame, cross-eyed, or dumb as rotten stamp stump. Never haggle, no, neither. They, they, they need folk for the silver mine, they say, and no one's ever lasts more than two months there anyway, so every hand helps. Fine by me. Business is good. Only thing worrying me is that soon I'll have caught all the peasants around, and then who will I sell? Hopefully yourself, greedy son of a gun. Thank you, bastard. You saved my life. You ever come through Claywitch, you give us a holler. I'll shave ye and shear ye for free. That's good to know. Dark iron ingot, pure silver. Oh, that's worth it. We found the jackpot. Wait, there's some stuff in the back. Okay, that's a story for another time.